Hi and welcome to our tutorial. Today I wanted to show you guys more about the vocabulary book with Kerpoof assignment. Now a lot of you have been asking me different questions about this assignment. The main thrust is this, as you've been going through your teaching and learning class, you've been focusing a lot on emerging writers and readers. And so this assignment is a way that you can use technology to create a little book project for beginning readers and writers. So let's take a look at the basic steps and how I want you to accomplish this. The first thing that you should do is go to Kerpoof and create an account. Now, as soon as you create that account, the two key pieces of information that you will provide is you'll create a nickname and you'll create a password. In order for you to join our classroom group so that I can evaluate your assignment, I need you to send me those two pieces of information in an email. Simply send those to jared at uen.org and then I can add you to our group. Once you've been added to our group, you'll go through the following process. So I'm going to sign out just so that I can show you how this is going to take place. I've created my username and password, so I'm going to go up into the top right corner and click Login. And you'll see that I can enter in my nickname and password, but more importantly, we want you to log in with the student class ID. That's the way that you can share your assignment with me. So I'll just show you. I, mean, I created a sample student here, and I'll just put in username and password here, just to make sure that we're all doing it the same way. The classroom ID is really important. It's E160. So this will enable you to be added to our classroom, and I'll log in with that information. Now the big key to that is, as you log in with that information, it, it creates you as part of our classroom group so that I can see, and other students in our class can see your assignment. Now like I mentioned, for our assignment this time, we're building vocabulary books. Not complicated vocabulary. Remember, we're looking at mostly the uh, primary grades. So we're looking at grades K through 3. So as we go through the different options here in Kerpoof, you have a lot of different choices, making movies or cards. What we want to do is we want to make a story. So go ahead and select that from the options menu. And you can pick from a wide variety of scenes that you, can, that you would want to choose from. Now for our particular book, we're only able to make nine scenes. So in this case, you, I mentioned in the syllabus that I thought we'd be able to do 20, but Kerpoof only allows us to do nine for free. So that's what we're going to do for this assignment. We'll make a nine-page alphabet book. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to just pick one of these scenes that I kind of like. And it will pull me into the editor. So as part of this editor, it will show me different pictures that I can use as part of my assignment that I can pull in. These are all clip art pictures going down the right hand side. You can pull those in. I can add different pieces of uh, text or I can draw on the screen. Uh, for our alphabet book, the, the two key things that I want you to include are I want you to have at least three clip art pictures and I want you to have the text surrounding the vocabulary word that you're going to use. Let's say for my particular example that I'm going to share with you, I want to talk to you about places I've been and things I like to do. So all of the vocabulary words that I have will either be places or activities that tell you a little bit more about me. So in this particular instance, I'm going to give you a, that I like to fish. Okay, So I'm going to have uh, a fish that's going to be part of my deep sea exploration. You can see I just left click on that and drag it out to my screen. If I want to resize that fish, there's a little option on the left hand side that lets me resize. Okay. I can rotate the fish with the option on the left, on the right. There's also a little word bubble if I wanted to have the fish talk. I, I don't want to have the fish talk. So I'll simply delete that text and I won't worry about that bubble. Okay. Now, other things that I want part as part of this, maybe I want to have a little person out here, right? Or a little animal kind of showing just something kind of fun as a deep sea diver. So I'll say that that's me. I like to explore the ocean and see fish. I like to see the fish. So I'll also pull out maybe one more thing here. Oh, let's pull out a little lobster and put him down at the bottom. You see that things that are in the foreground become larger and things that are kind of in the background become smaller. So you can see I pulled out my three items. Now I'm ready to pull in some text. And I just grab my text box and pull it out on my screen. And I'm going to use, this is a vocabulary book, so I'm going to use letters and words to say what I like to do. So I'm going to say in this case I'm going to say deep sea exploration. So D is 4. Now I'm going to do this a little differently because I want to highlight the specific vocabulary term. I cannot highlight just one word in a text box and change its color so I'm going to actually create two different text boxes. But I want them to look a little bit more uniform so I'm going to take the background off of this 
and I'm just going to make that text a little bit lighter so that you can see it. And there's my D is for, and I'm going to pull out a second text box, and I'm going to say Deep Sea Exploring. Okay. Now in this case, I'm going to take back off that background, and I'm going to change the color even different this time so it shows as my vocabulary term. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so that you can see that nice and big. You'll also find that as I move around on my screen, I get a chance to change my lettering and where it goes. So I may just put that here so you can see it. And you can see it. at times I just have to kind of work around this and rearrange uh, as I go through my, my little project here. But that is a good example of one page of my vocabulary book. I've added my different elements. They have kind of a central theme and I'm ready to move on to work some more. Now, as I want to add more pages, I come over onto the left-hand side of my screen and you'll see there's a little book here that lets me add more scenes. So there's my first scene. If I want to add additional scenes, I can go through. And like I told you a moment ago, you can add up to nine scenes in this book for free. So there's a second scene. And I can go through and work on this. Now notice as I highlight different areas of the screen that objects can be del deleted as part of this project. So by preset they've already added some different elements to this but you can go through and you can take those out and start over from scratch. Now notice I've still got these sea creatures over here and that's not really going to help me in this museum so maybe I want some different artifacts here. So maybe I want some oh I want some bones as part of this. I just type in the search box in the lower right corner the word bones and I can pull those out now and you can see that I can share some different things here. Okay, I can kind of pull those out onto the screen. And maybe I also want uh, some kind of a statue as part of this. So I'm going to type in the word statue. And you can see I get all kinds of statues that show up. And I'm going to pull maybe a couple of those in, something that might be in a museum. Okay. So I would just go through and highlight and use the search terms to find the different artifacts that meet what I'm looking for. And then I can go through and put those in and use the text box to add the text that I want as part of my vocabulary book. Like I mentioned, you'll be required to create nine pages as part of your book. And each of the pages should have a separate vocabulary term. The pictures that you pull onto the screen should kind of deal with what you're looking at in the scene and what kind of ties in with your vocabulary. Um, and if you, if you make a page like this and it just totally doesn't work, let me show you one of the cool fun things that you have in Kerpoof here. It's this bomb. I can just drag this out and it blows up everything off the screen it just lets me start over so it doesn't mean that I've ruined anything I just get a chance to kind of pull some new things in say oh yeah I really would like a different religious artifact to go down here and maybe I want something else to go in another spot so that's really the gist of using Kerpoof it's a fun little system of creating multimedia uh, in this case alphabet books or vocabulary books but it should be a lot of fun for the primary grades now, once I finish making all nine scenes, how do I finish this project off? I'm going to come over on the left hand side and click the Save button. As I save, what I want you to title your project is your name. That way I know that you've completed your project and the, the next last key thing here is share with your group. So as you check that box and save your scene, it will save all the different parts of your book and then I can go through and evaluate it. Now how do you know whether or not it actually worked? Well let's show you where you can see that. If I come up into the top right corner of my screen and click on the Kerpoof icon it takes me back out to the home page. Once I'm back out on the home page I have several different options here. The one that I want to share with you first is on the right hand side of your screen there's a uh, kind of a place for an avatar but I haven't loaded one on that avatar screen there's a little bag in the center and that's kind of like your inventory it shows you everything that you've got and it goes through and it shows you all the different scenes that you've made so this will show you whether or not you've actually made the scene you can see there's what I saved okay now how do you know whether or not I received it let's go back to Kapoof and I'll show you how you know whether or not I've received it in that same general area over there by the bag there's also a little letter and if I click on that it shows mail and it will show you that Jay Covelli has shared a story. If I click on that, it will actually it should actually pull up my story so that everyone in class can see it. And it should show you all the different pages as part of it. Now I'm going to include a, an example story for you 
Um, I'll just kind of continue the one that I'm working on, but I'm going to develop a little story based upon uh, places I've been and things I like to do. And so you can see that, and it will have nine pages in it. It will show you some different scenes and some different a aspects that you can play around with as you build your own Kerpoof movie. Now, the most important thing that I need from you as soon as possible is I need your nickname and your password so that I can add you to our group. Uh, those two items should be to me hopefully by the end of the week so that I can add you. This assignment is due on October 1st at midnight. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to contact me either by phone or by email. The last thing that I did include as far as what you submit in, in the U Online grading system is I want you just to submit to me a paragraph that describes your book. So as you've made your book, I want to know a little bit about the theme that you chose and why you picked the particular uh, pictures and uh, just kind of the whole idea behind your book. My example again is places I've been and things that I like to do. And so I would just write a little paragraph about why I developed my book and how that kind of ties into what I'm working on. That should be submitted in U Online under the Project One Creating a Vocabulary Book with Kerpoof. Just simply type in that paragraph or attach your paragraph in the submission window. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped clear up some of your questions about this project.